Do they hey. ever show you a preview of what they're going to be doing, or is that all post-editing after you've done the acting part of Sometimes it? Sometimes they show you a stark, they'll show you a set on, on, a, uh, on a television, on a monitor. They will show you a set, and they'll say, okay, you and she are standing right here. Here's where the, you know, mm -hmm. the thing flies by, and down here in the foreground is where the explosion is going to happen. And so they'll, sh they'll place you in the set, or show you, in the set where you are, and, and you go, oh, okay, so there's a hillside behind me, and there's a little brook over here, and just, yeah. So they can actually show it to you. When we did the um, uh, motion capture, when we did the video game, uh, they showed us that kind of stuff a lot, because we had a lot of stuff in an office, but you're not in an office. You're on, out on a volume. You're on an empty space, and everything's marked on the floor, so there'll be a piece of tape. So this, this piece of tape right here is a desk. And you know, you, 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 you walk around the desk, you know, but if, you, if, you, if you're in the middle of the scene, you go like this, well, now stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you just walk through the desk, Jay. And so they'll, everything's marked on the floor and that's the way they do it. And uh, it's challenging because if you're not used to it, again, it's just a different kind of work, a different kind of acting and, it's fun, but challenging. So maybe they do the computer part to match your reaction as opposed to you have to match what's there? It, it, that's all like goofy stuff because that's all computer-like geek stuff. And we have this guy, we have this guy, Tommaso something, and he's not from here. He's from Czechoslovakia. And he would say, okay, when he comes around the desk, um, when, when he gets shot in the chest, when he comes around that desk, I need him to just... When he reacts to the bullet, I need him to just hold just for like a half a second before he drops to the floor. Because there's a camera over here, and that camera has to get him completely. And once we get him completely there, he can then fall out of frame, and it's okay. And you do this like ten times, and he'd go back and look at it and say, Okay, do it one more time, and just hold. I said, I just got shot in the chest. Of course I'm going to fall down. He said, yeah, but just hold it. Just Half a second, hold it up, half a second more. And this is all very technical stuff because of the stuff they need to load into the computer. I didn't necessarily understand it, but it was stuff I had to do. And and some of it you go, this is ridiculous, but because it's not real. It's small mechanics. Was it harder to get into that, into that type of character because you're not wearing makeup, you're wearing a body suit? VR oh, and, you, and you're wearing a helmet. Right. You have a helmet on with a big swing arm coming down from the side of the helmet. It comes down and in front of your face, and on that, on that little uh, tripod thingy that is here all day, okay, is a light and a camera right here. So it's, you're on camera all day, wherever you go. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's creepy. And uh, it, it, it's just challenging, that's all. It's just different, you get used to it, you have to get used to the weight on your head and everything. It's okay. You guys. Come on, ask me something. Did I, no, 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 you, you in the green shirt. Yes. Did I enjoy voicing? Yes. Well, I'm not only the voice. I'm on the, I'm, I'm the on camera as well. So, um, yeah. I mean, it, we, we just shot it like a movie. So, whatever my voice was in the, in, while we were shooting, will be the voice. And, and uh, so, yeah. It, it, I liked it, and I've already done some looping, which is uh, looping sound. I don't know what the correct terminology is, but it's it means basically it means set, it, lip syncing to the picture. I've already done my stuff there, so that's done. When is the game coming out? I I, I, I want to say April or May, because they were going to try to make it for the holiday, and there's just there's absolutely no way they're going to make it for the holiday for Christmas. That's not going to happen. So. And it's from a company called 2K. And they have a subsidiary company called Hangar 13. And this was through Hangar 13. How, how long does it take for you to do stuff like that? I mean, for example, the Mafia 3. Yes. How long does it take for them to film, for you to voice, and all that? I worked on it for three months. Okay? And they have been working on it from start to finish? From concept your, to everything? Your part. Three months. Three months. They've been working on it two years. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they've been working on it like two years. That's conception. That's scripting. 
that's uh, setting up the volume, everything, because, um, <clears throat> and apparently these cameras that are all around the room are very, very sensitive. And they're all on like these, uh, what do they call that stuff? Um, Almost like track lighting, but it's on a much higher tech, it's like speed rail. They call it speed rail, I think, aluminum speed rail. And if somebody knocks that speed rail, and those cameras are very, very sensitive, and if they shake at all, they all have to be recalibrated. Oh, and there's 146 cameras or something, so, yeah, it's a pain in the neck. And um, uh, I remember we came in one day, and, you know, there was a member of the cast that didn't know that, and he was over on one of the aluminum rails and he was doing pull-ups on it. And of course, oh, yeah, the cinematographer saw it and said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so. Probably not a good day for him. Because of the challenging aspect of this whole thing, what got you to say yes to that project? Well, well, I hadn't acted in a year. I hadn't acted in a year and uh, my, my agent said, you know, we're gonna send you in on this thing. It's a video game. It's a very closed kind of world. You've never done a video game before. We don't know whether you're gonna get it or not, but let's give it a shot, and if you get it, the video game world is really opening up, and it could be, it could open up a great door for you. And I said, okay, okay, fine. And they said, you know, there's money here. You could, you know, we could, we could get you some money here. It'll be okay. And I said, okay, great. And then the next thing you know, they called me back, and then they called me back a third time, and I said, hey, I, you know, I might get this. And of course, we got a phone call and said, yes, we want him, let's go. And so I went up to Petaluma. We were in Northern California. We shot it in Northern California, in uh, Sonoma Valley. Just one down, one county down from Napa. There's a lot of wine up there. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of nice wine there. Oh, yeah. Yes. So. I think you were drinking wine that day. I called you in your hotel. I, I, think, I think I was. I think I was. I, I, remember, I, drank, I drank wine pretty much every single day I when I was there. I remember you telling me that. I'm just sitting back drinking some wine and reading my script. Oh, it's great. That's a, that's a great place. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go up. My wife and I are going to go up for um, Christmas. We're going to go uh, to Napa for three days. Oh, and, uh, that'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be all right. Drinking a lot of wine. <laughs> Yeah, so do you too. want to do some more of those then? Do you like it? The, the video game world? Yeah. yeah. That, I, mean, I would so love to do that. That'd be really? great. That'd be great. And how does that, how do you feel that really differed from what you've been doing in the past? I mean, that's... Well, it's just a different kind of acting, as I was talking about earlier. It's, it, you know, you're not in, a, in a, you're in a costume, but you're not in civic clothes. You're not in civilian clothes. You're in this kind of, I, oh, I never did show you the suit, huh? I'm sorry. Got about the, the suit part is really kind of. I'm gonna it, come over and look at it. <laughs> it's really kind of groovy, but pass it around. Pass it around. Here, actually hold this for me so I can talk and find it <laughs> at the same time. The suit is kind of groovy because it's. Uh, let me just see. It's here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I always, glasses, no glasses. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the suit is just really cool. It's all black and it's very tight, and which is not fun. That's not the fun part. It's really tight, and um, and it's all velcroed to get. It's velcroed and zippered together. So, yeah, it's uh, a little uncomfortable when you first get in it, and then you just realize, okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I, I got some. <laughs> okay, no worries. So it's and, and you can manipulate this thing. Yeah, and so you, you can see you have that you have a, like a silly um just pass it around. You have like a silly um hat I'll, I'll on. I'll pass it around. And then it has that swing arm with a with a camera and a and a light on it that um and, and if you look at if you look at the wall behind us, if you look at the wall behind us You'll see those infrared cameras. You see those up there? Those are infrared cameras. And, um, and so there's 146 of those cameras around the room, and they're getting all of the reflection of everything you do. So it's pretty cool. Lost them. It's over here. It's over here. <laughs> okay. All right.